Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and we're playing From the Depths. Uh, now I'm about to start a, ca a campaign, um, and the last time I tried to do a campaign, it was quite a while ago, it didn't really end well. Uh, I, I didn't do well. Uh, so um, I'm gonna t I've, I worked out some new designs, and hopefully things will go better, but what I really need is a good bullet sponge ship. Uh, now I've got, I've got a sort of one, uh, but um, I want to make it more bullet spongy. Let me bring it in. Uh, it is the iron turd. Oh, don't ram. Yep, it rammed it. How about a backup? Am I actually pulling this thing along with me? Well, that was an auspicious start. How about if I just get rid of that thing? Turning off. This is a little bit close to my regular ship, but... Whatever. Right, I don't even know why exactly I spawned this in, except uh, just to show you. This is this is kind of already my bullet sponge, uh, but I want to make it a lot more bullet spongier. Uh, I want to make it. Uh, I want to use space armor to um, uh, to encase it and make it. Uh, Less vulnerable to um, to enemies. Okay, this is what I call the core. Um, basically, it's a below water uh, element. I wonder if I can turn down that, that audio. That's a little loud. Uh, so this is uh, like um, uh, the heart of the ship, uh, and it's got. All the most things you don't want to get blown up, like all the ammo is right here, uh, and uh, all the fuel and material boxes are right here. So if it does get penetrated, it, you got deep, deep troubles. But um, uh, it's got a whole slew of repair bots down here to repair stuff, <coughs> uh, and um, up here is the computer core, which is uh, redundant. It's got two two mainframes. Uh, and I look down here. Even if the the entirety of the um, ship above water is blown away, uh, repair bots can still get through here, and um, uh, and see if there's a whoop, there's a clear way down here to the repair bots. Repair, repair bots can still get through, and um, they can still come in and repair the, the uh, surface parts of the ship. And now I gotta cover this whole thing over with uh, spiky space armor. Uh, basically, it's armor that uh, like this. Uh, let me give you an example. Nope, uh, didn't do that right. So basically, it's gonna look like a porcupine. I'm gonna have the porcupine spine sticking all out all over it. And the idea is that a projectile comes in here, and it's gonna hit this first. Uh, and explode, and that's going to minimize the damage to the actual core parts of the ship. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Okay, I put the, I finished putting the space armor on. Uh, so basically, when a, a projectile comes in, whether it's a missile or a bullet, it's going to come in. It's going to go. I'm going to go hit your ammo and blow you up. Uh, boom! It's, it's that thing. <coughs> that's destroyed. But neither the wood is destroyed, nor, more importantly, the metal underneath it is destroyed. Now I gotta actually build like the engine and stuff uh, to actually make it go. It's gonna go real slow because all the drag. I mean, it's got all every got a pointy thing in the world sticking out of it. But um, uh, but I don't need it to go fast. I just need it to attract a lot of attention from uh, enemies. Okay, here it is, the bullet sponge. 
Looks pretty ungainly, uh, but looks like it can take a lot of hits. So let's find out if it actually move. I guess is actually the real issue here. Uh, bullet sponge is sixteen thousand. Iron turret is eighteen thousand. So uh, spawn here. Let's see if it'll actually move. Listening. Control yours. Moving out. Oh, I don't know how many rudder, rudders on. That, that might be a problem. How's it turning without rudders? All right, let's do a little test. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of the iron turd. And we'll put a submarine out here because that's probably the most likely scenario that I'll use it at in is uh, using that as a um, a bullet sponge, as the name suggests, Order and using complete. using uh, a submarine to to uh, to kill it while it's uh, while it's busy uh, while the enemy while it's busy hitting on the bullet sponge. So let me load up uh, load up Hammerhead three. We'll go ahead and put that on control. combat mode, and we will bring in some bad guys. We'll do some ex excerpts, experts. No, we'll do regular, just to start off with. Walrus is pretty tough. Did focus it on the submarine? I don't know what it's focusing on. Oh yeah, it's, it's trying to hit the submarine. Well, that's not not according to plan. All right, let's get let's get a mine strike here. I want to see a mine strike. Come on. Release your mines. I know you want to. Mines, dude. Do your mines. You're close enough. I'm gonna wreck my own ship for. Oh. <laughs> Attacking my own ship. I might need some uh, metal at the bottom of that.
Alright, how about you go attack this guy? Use the mines, man. Use the force, Luke. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Boosh! Boosh! Angry little bees! not doing any great shakes. It needs more, I guess it needs more weight on the bottom. Oh, it actually got damage down here. Oh, it actually got critically damaged by my own, my own submarine. <laughs> That's not too good. Uh, I do have a, a, a IFF on this thing, don't I? I mean, I, I believe, surely I do. Maybe I don't. That's an oversight. All right. Well, while that thing is dying, I'll I'll go ahead and get that finished. Oh, it's already did, I guess. Okay. Okay. I made some additions uh, both to the submarine and to the uh, the bullet sponge. Hopefully, the bullet sponge to keep it. Uh, uh, Keep it from uh, capsizing, and to the um, and to the submarine to keep it from hitting my hitting my new boat. Okay, let me bring up. Uh, we'll we'll bring in some expert designs. What the hell? Uh, what's that compared to a uh, walrus? Walrus is eight. I don't know what a, what a course area is, but we'll see. My submarine's on the surface. That's the problem with it is it does, doesn't stay on the stay submerged unless it uh, doesn't stay submerged unless it um, uh, is, is moving. And again, it's pay paying very little attention to the. Uh, Submerge, you son of a bitch! Taking control. Yeah, that's not interested in the, the bullet sponge at all. Oh, it's dead. All right. Well, let's let's bring up something that will be sure to. Uh, to create some uh, some action here. All right, you listening. Control you move out. Moving out. I'll load up a panel gunner. That, that's that's that so far. That's my most formidable enemy. But um, I have very little, uh, very little uh, chance of beating it. But um, I need to reload. For a bullet sponge, it seems to get hurt a lot. But it's not even the main. <laughs> it wasn't even the main target for the other for the enemy. Enemies seem mainly concerned about the submarine, with good reason. 
Alright, we're all loaded. Okay. Listening. Taking control. Alright, and it's uh orders complete. Okay, how about you go this Moving way? Up. I want it to be in motion when I bring in the paddle gun. <sighs> Alright, and Godly. Taking control. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that was... My death was inevitable. Wow. Yeah, this, this whole effect here is really lousy. The whole dying effect here. Why you, why you need it in, in, uh... Alright, so bullet sponge. How are you doing at being a bullet sponge? Uh, most of his armor's already been stripped off. Unfortunately, the paddle gun has uh, has uh, uh, torpedoes. Now I have these uh, anti-torpedo things um, right right there, uh, but they don't work uh, like but like about 25% of the time. So it's really not not something you can rely on too much. Okay, I'm guessing that's uh, the. Uh, that's the uh, bullet sponge. Yep, bullet sponge is almost dead, so... Alright, well let's uh, bring in the iron turd, turd and see if that... Um, that does any better. Alright, are you repaired yet? Oh, it's raining. It's raining missiles or torpedoes, or whatever the hell that is. Missiles, I guess. Boosh, 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 boosh. That little thing when it goes flying, that's a uh, radar boy, because uh, uh, it, this can't this can't have good high quality um, uh, target acquisitions unless um, uh, it's um, got the radar going. So that's that's for. And that launches out of the back here. That's where the radar board comes from. Okay, now finally we've got some action from the submarine. And some from the uh and it's got it's got anti missile missiles. Oh, this is a load of pain coming their way, so load of pain coming their way. Those are at least those, maybe those are maybe those are those are uh, torpedoes, I think. In which case, uh, my sub may be in a world of hurt. Here comes the pain. I may have to stick with the uh, the iron turret for my uh, for my uh, uh, bullet sponge. It does a pretty good job. Come on, boys, bring the pain. 
Bring that pain. Oh yeah, it's digging deep. Digging deep. I still got missiles intact. Alright, so I finally we shut that down. But no thanks to my new bullet sponge, so I'm gonna have to stick with the iron turd. Hey, my submarine didn't attack my ship's own ships this time. Alright, well that's all for right now. Until next time, hasta la vista. Adios!